we had a lot of dinner parties at home. And uh, we'd have uh, my friends, Biba's friends, come over and we'd always get the same comments. And they'd always say, but this is not Italian food. And that would enrage Biba and say, what do you know? You've never been to Italy. <laughs> she started teaching her friends cooking lessons in our home, just informally. And then that progressed and she did that as a vocation throughout the state, and actually outside the state also. And then she started writing cookbooks. And I think the restaurant was just the culmination of all of that. She enjoys it, she loves it, so it's therapeutic also. <laughs> What I saw in Biba was her attention to detail and her determination that quality would not be subsumed by convenience. And all of a sudden there was real food. The historic underpinnings were all there. There was a reason for everything on the plate that came from the history of Italian food. Food speaks to the place that it's from and, and the person who made it. And so you could see always in her food it's from Sacramento, right? But it was from it was from Italy too. About 1985, I was uh, was developing an Italian restaurant on Fair Oaks Boulevard, and Biba approached me and, and asked me if I would be interested in her being my partner in the uh, in this Italian restaurant, and I declined. You know, she didn't have any you know restaurant experience. And uh, I opened, it was a restaurant called Zito's. It's where Zinfandel Grill is now on Fair Oaks Boulevard. And uh, Zito's had a, a couple year history and Biba's, and then Biba went on to team up with Joe Benvenuti and opened Biba's here at, on Capitol Avenue. And here it is, you know, 40 years later. And uh, that, that was an opportunity that I had that, that made a big mistake. And she was a customer of ours. And what was interesting was that she was a doctor's wife who was very famous for her tennis prowess. She was a fearsome tennis player. And what was curious was that uh, it was very interesting when she decided to open her restaurant because she doesn't come from a culinary background. And, you know, in the restaurant business, it's like being in the political business. You have to have some background, otherwise it's really terrible. But she's done an extremely good job. She's done uh, really something quite remarkable because she, she came, even as she herself admits, from a non-cooking background. Well, now it's, it's, um, it's essential that she comes here because this is the one part of her life that she had to put a mark on, put a stamp on, and, and it's, it's a validation of all the years of hard work.